Don't touch that dial. What you're about to see is a black and white reversal dupe of the trailer from Samuel Fuller's White Dog. It's as far as Paramount got before they decided to pull the plug and not release the film theatrically. My name is John Davison, and this is Trailers from Hell. What strikes you as you watch this trailer is the decision to hide the subject matter of the movie. The film is based on a Romaine Gary novella about a dog that's trained to attack and kill black people, a subject that doesn't lend itself to an exploitation advertising campaign. If Paramount had made the picture the trailer was selling, it might have been released, but it wouldn't have been nearly as interesting. Studio executives exacerbated the film's problems by secretly hiring two black consultants without the knowledge of writer-director Fuller. They then tried to implement the consultants' ideas by passing them off as their own. And these consultants had a lot of ideas. Why not? They were being paid by the hour and more than most anyone else on the picture. The film was subjected to numerous rounds of studio cuts in an attempt to eliminate as much of Fuller's distinctive style as possible. Fortunately, Sam never shot traditional coverage, so this was often not possible. Among the visual aspects that drove the studio crazy were extended masters, long tracking shots, extreme close-ups, Dutch angles, and dog POVs. Finally, the studio threw up its paws and shelved the picture theatrically in the U.S. for almost a decade. In Europe, it was one of the best-reviewed movies of the year, but Sam Fuller never worked in the United States again. The film is finally available on DVD. This trailer is not included.